So you needed to replace an outlet or switch and when you remove it you found that the wires were way too short. Incredibly frustrating. We're going to show you a couple options today how to correct that. The National Electrical Code states that you should have six inches of wire from the back of the box to the front and a minimum of three inches. Hope you can see that from the front to the uh, inside of the room. So. The code is six inches from the back of the box extending out and a minimum of three inches from the front of the box out and available to work on. So this is an older house. You can see they've cut the wires way too short. Um, we're going to have to deal with that. I'm going to show you a couple options. Okay, so there's, there's no effective way to get your new outlet or switch, depending on what you're working on, connected properly and safely, and then fold it back in the box. It's just too short to really work on. So you need to extend those wires and how are you going to do that? The first thing you can do is pre-cut your wire length. So here we have six inch extenders. Um, I like to pre-cut them and then actually pre-strip uh, them. So you're ready to go with your extenders. Um, getting these, these on for your, your trusty wire connectors that have been around for 100 years, it's going to be pretty darn difficult. You're going to have to bend your extender wire and then do your splice here and then hope that you have enough wires sticking out of the front for the new outlet. That method may work, but I've seen in older homes where they're even shorter than this and then you're really, really just stuck. I've seen them actually inside the box. So um, let me show you a better method. So these Wago quick connector wire connectors, highly engineered, easy to use for the do it yourself or a first timer. No intimidation at all. You literally just open up these levers. Your new wires will stick right into the ends and it's a clear uh, see-through window there so you can see if you've gone all the way in and then you simply clamp it down and it's tight and it's not going anywhere. That's a much easier way to connect the old wire to the new wire to put your outlet on. So that's the old wire and then here's the new wire. You still have to bend it around though you get it through, snap it on down, and you're locked in place, and you can start working on your new outlet here with the extender. However, you can see it's not the optimal scenario. It's still pointing back into the box, and it has to curve around. So it's still a little bit of a pain in the butt, but it is doable. I'm going to show you a better option. So Wago now makes these wire extenders facing opposite directions. This is a perfect application for it, so easy to use. The links for these products are in the description of the video. In this scenario, you literally are just going to open up the levers, install it on the old wiring, clamp it down, install your new wiring, clamp it down, and then you have plenty of wire here for your new outlet. This is the way to go. This is what I would order. So on the old short wires, we need them to be straight for the quick connectors. Um, they don't have to be exactly straight, but somewhat straight will help. So one connector for each. Open them up, slide them on, use the see-through glass to make sure they're all the way down tight, and clip it in place. And the hot wire. Black is hot, white is neutral, and of course if you have a ground it's usually going to be copper. Okay, these wire extenders, you can pre-cut them and have them uh, ready to go anywhere between probably four and six inches will be perfect. Um, you can even take off the insulation, have them stripped and you are good to go. Black to black, lock it down in place, white to white, and if you have a ground, the bare copper. There you go, you have your easy connectors ready to go. If you have this type of outlet, you actually can use the circle connector you can actually use that little dog ear there to use it to make a make a twist on your wire. Look at that. Easy to do. You don't even have to have a pair of pliers. So the black wire is going to go on the gold or brass colored screw. You want it to be on the underside of the screw as you're tightening it down. So on the hot side or the brass gold colored screw, you want the wire coming in under the screw. So as you look at it and you tighten it down clockwise, it's pulling that wire in nice and tight. It will never come loose. Now when you're on the neutral side, the silver screw, in that case, you need it to go on the top of the screw. So it's the opposite. So black wire 
comes in under the screw. The silver wire, white wire neutral comes in on the top of the screw. In those cases, when you tighten them down, it will pull the wire in tight and it will not unwind. Okay, everything's on nice and tight. You have your quick connector. You can easily now fold those back in the box with confidence that it's going to hold tight. Okay, your new outlet is in. You have the proper length on your electrical wires. You use the quick connectors. Wago is an excellent product. It will hold those wires tight for years to come. I bet you can do it yourself.